uh, as we know the name mri means magnetic resonance imaging as the name suggests that we are using a magnetic field means a magnet is involved in that we are creating a resonance by using rf waves and we are trying to do a image formation we are using imaging formation techniques using fourier transforms and all mathematical tools that's why we call it magnetic resonance imaging means mri so you know that uh, there in a patient body in a normal human boy body water is in abundance uh, this human is not good so this is suppose a human being so 90% or 95% content in body content has a water water molecules h2o water is there so we can say that hydrogen atoms so if we see a broader perspective of this hydrogen in periodic table it is the lightest element and in hydrogen atom if you see in some books of mri you will see the proton in the text will be written like proton hydrogen atom hydrogen molecules so all are same proton means h plus means in the nucleus there is one proton and one electron so if we remove this electron this atom will become h plus so h plus means proton or hydrogen atom all are same okay so and uh, if we if we are taking one hydrogen atom and we are keeping it in the see this is the hydrogen atom okay and what the theory says if this hydrogen atom will we keep in the magnetic field suppose the magnet is here is a magnet and the effect is called and the field effect of due to this magnet is called b0 okay this is a magnetic field because of this magnet and we are keeping this hydrogen atom inside this so the the hydrogen atom vector will be pointed towards this magnetic field means suppose this is a magnetic field and this field is created by this magnet suppose there is a magnet and this is a field and we are putting one hydrogen atom here so this hydrogen atom moment the the magnetic field moment the vector will be pointed towards this b0 this is b0 and this hydrogen field will be in this direction okay so all the tiny hydrogen atoms will be pointed towards this main magnetic field okay this is called polarization so when we when we keep suppose for an example we are keeping three hydrogen atoms in a magnetic field this is magnetic field b0 due to the magnet and we have kept three hydrogen atoms in this magnetic field all are polarized polarization means you might have heard about the name polarization Pol in the politics okay. normally people say that people are getting polarized with this uh, this leader yes. after this leader polarized means they started thinking in the same direction they are going in the same direction all the movement is getting polarized so here same thing these hydrogen atoms are getting polarized all are in one direction so now now the situation comes that uh, how to do the imaging and how to do the how to find out the tumors or any any abnormal structures in a human body suppose if if this is a suppose this is a this is some potato we bought some potato from the market and uh, suppose there is some rotten some rotten part inside spoiled potato piece inside how will you how will you identify by seeing from outside unless and until you cut the potato you will not be able to see there is some rotten part yes. so how to see that to see that you need to cut the potato slice, slice, into slice. small slices like a potato chips mm. these are all called slices yes. okay so keep in mind how to how to make the slices unless and until you are making a slice you will not be able to see, see penetrate inside that potato you cannot see in any object potato means liver you cannot go inside the liver and you cannot see that tumor unless and until you cut that liver cut that organ so so see, let us see how we are doing all this in mri suppose this is your magnetic field this is your magnet yes okay a patient is lying here okay this is your patient okay mm. and there is a tumor here imagine that this patient is having a tumor here now what will happen i want to see the tumor in mri let us see one by one all the parts this is this is magnet only magnet nothing else forget mm. about other body coil gradient coil nothing so far i have not discussed anything only magnet magnet means what magnet means a current carrying conductor mm. we are giving some current mm -hmm. and this is like a it is creating a magnetic mm -hmm. field so just keep this much in your mind okay mm. so let me so this is the patient so this is the patient lying in the 
एम आर आई सो दिस एंटायर पेशेंट बॉडी दिस एंटायर पेशेंट बॉडी इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सपोज आई एम सेपरेटिंग दिस एंटायर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सी यू कैन सी इन साइड दिस एम आर आई एवरीवेयर सपोज दिस इज वन पॉइंट फाइव टेस्ला एम आर आई सो दिस एंटायर एम आर आई इन साइड द बोर दिस इज द एम आर आई बोर इन साइड दिस बोर दिस पेशेंट बॉडी इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग दिस पेशेंट बॉडी इज एक्सपीरियंसिंग वन पॉइंट फाइव टेस्ला मैग्नेटिक फील्ड सो दिस एंटायर बॉडी ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट ऑफ दिस बॉडी इज हैविंग वन फ्रीक्वेंसी फील्ड मीन्स फ्रीक्वेंसी इफ द फील्ड इज इफ द फील्ड इज वन पॉइंट फाइव टेस्ला डेफिनेटली देर विल बी सम फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस पेशेंट इज लाइंग इन दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड and uh, this entire body this entire body of this patient you can see here this entire body is experiencing a magnetic field b0 okay. one that is 1.5 tesla okay so entire body means each and every point in his body mm. is experiencing a magnetic field same magnetic field okay 1.5 tesla okay okay 1.5 tesla 1.5 tesla is here no so this point is under the influence of 1.5 tesla okay so each and every point has a frequency also f1 since this point is also 1.5 tesla his frequency will be f1 no change mm -hmm. this point is also in 1.5 tesla frequency is f1 so entire this you can see the entire if i see the frequency spectrum this patient is in 1.5 tesla magnetic field no change field is homogeneous entire body is experiencing a frequency of f1 i hope you you got my point yes and uh, i am making one another diagram okay so so i wanted to say that this is a magnetic field okay one patient is lying here and there is a tumor inside and his entire entire body his entire body is in one magnetic field same homogeneous magnetic field so entire point you can see that all the points in his body has one frequency here. since the field is same so frequency will be same yes. f1 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 Okay. Okay. No change in the frequency. So what will happen? So up to this point, just keep in your mind. Now, if we are giving some, as you know that in MRI we need to give some radio frequency wave. Radio frequency wave we have to give to all the hydrogen atoms in the patient body. Okay, we are giving RF wave to the patient body wherever we want to examine. In that area we have to give the RF, RF energy. What RF will do? that rf will excite the hydrogen atoms suppose this is the this is the main magnetic field okay mm. this is the main magnetic field b0 mm. because of the main magnet yes. that is a main magnet this is your magnet okay main magnet this is your hydrogen atom okay and this is your hydrogen atom vector b1 okay bh uh, you just uh, just keep it like h, h. hydrogen vector mm. so when we give a rf energy to this vector it this this hydrogen atom flips yes. suppose we are giving some 90 degree pulse some rf energy we are giving it will flip and this will okay it will go in this plane suppose this vector will go in this plane and gets excited this vector will go in this plane okay because of the extra energy this vector will flip and come in this direction after attaining this rf so what will happen and after some time we are removing this rf you remove this rf what will happen when you are removing this rf so your hydrogen vector this is your b0 your hydrogen vector is here now your hydrogen vector is here what will happen and there is no rf rf is zero so this hydrogen vector will re release the energy hmm. and it will try to come to the original position original position see this hmm. this is the video see this uh, horizontal component see this one see this horizontal component slowly is coming down is coming down from maxi earlier this green color see this green color this green color was maximum and then started going down going down so this is called transverse the time this horizontal vector is taking from maximum to minimum this horizontal vector from here to zero the time it is taking it is called t2 transverse relaxation time this vector and you can now you focus this vertical component yellow yellow vector see the yellow vector is going and and is slowly slowly it is increasing and is becoming to the b0 direction so the time it is taking to achieve to align in b0 is called see same thing i am trying to explain you also pay attention in this animation this is your b0 
okay and this is your hydrogen atom you excited you gave the rf earlier it was in this direction now you gave the rf it came here hydrogen atom so what is the projection so the the study this hydrogen atom from here it is going to align in b0 so how it is going so to study that to study the motion the way it is going to b0 we split in two two ways this one and this one so the time of this vector is called transverse relaxation time the horizontal component takes t2 time and this vector has a vertical component okay the vertical component of this vector takes t1 time that is called longitudinal relaxation time okay understood na if this vector is precessing like this okay na okay. so this is the t2 is called transverse relaxation time transverse and t1 is called longitudinal if you plot the graph you will see see the the, the longitudinal the the yellow. longitudinal is the yellow one so the longitudinal one see it's taking long as the name says longitudinal so the graph will be longitudinal like this mm. this is a graph denoting t1 yeah. and t2 graph is like this no very fast see see this the time it, it decreases very fast and becomes zero see becomes zero almost zero this is called t2 you can see here this component is very fast horizontal component is decreasing very fast this transverse component so the transfer t2 is very fast so t2 is fast okay. fast decreasing and t1 is it takes longer time slowly slowly now we are again in that same position we have the patient lying in the mri okay and there is a tumor we want to see this tumor and this magnet is 1.5 tesla so this patient is having this entire body is feeling the same homogeneous magnetic field called 1.5 tesla so definitely if it is 1.5 tesla so entire body is 1.5 tesla and definitely each and every point has a frequency all the points are having same frequency f1 f1 same frequency there is no frequency change this is f1 frequency f1 f1 so now we want to see this tumor this is a very important point now we are giving an rf energy just see now from the outside source we are giving an rf energy to flip the hydrogen atoms we are giving rf energy rf electromagnetic wave to the patient body because we want to see the tumor we want to do the scanning hmm. there is a tumor and i want to see that so this patient entire body is in 1.5 tesla frequency is same everywhere it is f1 frequency now you have removed this rf now this rf is removed okay rf is removed so now what will happen this patient body will release rf you have removed your rf and now all this patient body will release an energy and relaxation will take place i explained you earlier t1 and t2 relaxations mm. so all the atoms like this atom from here it will go to the home position t1 relaxation and t2 relaxation that will happen and and energy will be released these are all energies so since all the points are in same frequency okay if we have given rf all the points will release the same frequency pattern let's say f not f not f not f not all frequencies okay because we are giving rf and now rf is removed so now the frequency received from the patient will be same so this entire body of this patient is is giving same frequency so how you will do the scanning if there is a patient here and this patient is giving you you are receiving suppose you are sitting here to receive one person is sitting to receive and entire body is giving same frequency frequency so and there is a tumor this tumor is also giving you the same frequency frequency means some we have to make a kind of structure this is the patient and this is your tumor if you are getting some frequency f1 at this point f2 f3 f4 f5 so then your dots will be like this some rare some dark so then you will see some pattern here so definitely your doctor will see that there is something inside 
this is called tumor this will be a different pattern so like this is scanning happens so our interest is to receive different different frequencies from the patient body how is it possible suppose how to change the frequency how to get the frequency difference now important point of mri if the patient is this is your magnet okay and your patient is lying here suppose this is your patient okay from here to here this is a homogeneous magnetic field 1.5 tesla this patient entire body is feeling the same frequency. same field and same frequency so how to how to disturb it how to get it if we dist if we are if we manage to disturb this magnetic field suppose this is the magnetic field okay think everywhere same 1.5 tesla so, so this patient body is feeling same frequency also so if we do some mechanism and if we disturb this magnetic field somehow what will happen disturb means what disturb means if we like see this magnetic field density field so dense here sometimes rare then again density then again rare like this this field is not homogeneous you see mm. here more field more density yes. here more density here more density and then rare so this is this this is non means uh, you disturb the field this is non homogeneous mm. this field is disrupted how is it possible here comes the role of a gradient coil okay mm -hmm. if i am taking one another color if we put another coil in that again some and this one is called gc gradient coil this is also a kind of coil you give a current it will produce a magnetic field okay suppose the main magnetic field is b0 mm -hmm. and this gradient coil is also having some uh, magnetic field suppose we can see b gradient coil bg mm -hmm. so what will happen this gradient coil is getting a current definitely it will produce a magnetic field so what will happen this gradient coil you put a current in that okay i current in this gradient coil there is a coil okay this gradient coil will create its own magnetic field this gradient coil will create its own magnetic field and this gradient magnetic field will interact with the main magnetic field and main magnetic field gets disturbed now you can see a gradient this blue line inclined line is showing gradient means this is higher gradient means gradient means higher side gradient means like uh, gradient means what if this is your house tap water tap and this is your flower flower pot okay and you connect a pipe here and you switch on the water supply what will happen the pressure gradient pressure gradient pressure gradient will be high here here the water pressure will be high so we we say that pressure gradient is high but here the pressure gradient will be low this is called pressure gradient or any gradient so same thing here your pressure is your uh, magnetic field is different here is different different so you can see there is a magnetic field gradient now what will happen now you applied one gradient okay and pressure got and this magnetic so it doesn't mean that this 1.5 tesla is at center here it will be little different like 1.4999 okay at at another point it will be 1.49998 like this not that much different but little variation so now this patient is lying in a different magnetic field what will happen now we will give an rf okay now we are giving an rf energy to patient to the patient and now what will happen this patient will release energy this patient body will release energy different frequency okay uh, this entire body will give you some energy because whatever organ you want to see you are giving an rf now you are removing this rf now you are collecting so you will see a different different frequencies and this is your objective different different frequencies from different different points of the body and then you will see a frequency spectrum okay and uh, suppose now this patient is giving different different frequencies and if you plot this frequency f1 f2 f3 f4 there will be a brighter point light point more bright lesser bright so you will see a pattern because of the frequency difference some somewhere it will be dense somewhere it will be rare so you can see that it is an object and you can easily find out this is our objective of introducing the gradient coil in the magnet how we are introducing the gradient coil now you can see that uh, we have introduced one gradient coil and we change the magnetic field now 
so far we have only used one gradient coil x gradient there are other gradients y gradient z gradient we will see how they are after the insert the now now you saw that uh, there was a patient in the magnetic field i am using the same diagram again and again and there was a tumor okay you there was a homogeneous magnetic field then you applied a gradient then you applied a gradient suppose one gradient you applied and what you did this gradient uh, disrupted the main magnetic field and the field homogeneity got disturbed some places too much dense some places rare again dense again rare like this so, okay now the the field gradient applied and we collected the so this now this patient different 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 so imagine now imagine it like we have one potato okay and there is a tumor here okay and we applied some magnetic field we applied a gradient whatever now we are cutting this potato into small small slices like we are applying gradient okay one chips so here you can see your tumor here is your tumor so from here one chips you took out okay and if you see that chips this is your potato chips if you see your tumor is here okay now again one challenge now again one challenge what is the challenge now you forget about your potato okay oh no now you forget about potato now you have your chips now what will happen as the as i explained the theory now each and every point of the patient body is giving you frequency spectrum mm. different 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 okay but try to understand very very crucial point this body is lying here this was the mri some field gradient applied so this field changed so this point this this dot this gap this entire gap one frequency because there is a there is a gradient so each and every slice will give you that frequency different frequency this one different frequency this one different frequency we achieved this one okay by applying one gradient understood so each and every potato chips this one is another another potato chips this one will give you another frequency this one will give you another frequency now we are taking one potato chips out this entire chips we are taking it out so this entire chips of potato chips is giving you f4 frequency you can see that if you take this chips out this entire chips will give you f4 frequency okay understood this if you take this piece out how it will look like it will look like another piece this is entire piece of potato chips is giving you okay. f1 frequency again the challenge is same what is the challenge now now this entire potato chips every point each and every point is giving you some f1 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 because it is in the same slice so what we will have to do we will have to apply another gradient mm -hmm. we will have to do encodings okay huh? how to see that how to see this one so that is, that was a slice selection gradient here we applied one in this mri this was the patient we applied one gradient and we selected different different slices okay so your tumor was in one slice your slice came out this is this is your slice and this full slice is one frequency yes. so this entire slice will give you one frequency now this entire slice is giving you one frequency means all the points are same frequency so how this tumor is also giving you the same frequency how the doctor will isolate yes. this is also giving suppose 10 mega 10 hertz mm. other neighboring point is also giving 10 hertz yes. if you are sitting here to receive the data you will receive same all points you will receive same hertz same frequency how you will say that this, this is, is your tumor this tumor need to give you some different frequency then only you can apply the another gradient so now this is your potato, potato chips. chips this is your tumor so what we will do one gradient you have already applied mm. slice select gradient mm. now you will do so much select. now you will do one more gradient phase encoding gradient mm. okay phase encoding so in this chips 
how to look like phase encoding encoding means phase encoding gradient will do like this now we will introduce phase encoding gradient and another one will be frequency encoding gradient so now you can see a matrix format matrix this is your slice mm -hmm. one slice only one slice of potato and this slice you can see this is a matrix this mm -hmm. is one matrix yes. matrix means what 16 by 16, 16. matrix 256 by 256 matrix rows into columns 512 into 512 matrix so it looks like a matrix mm. okay so this is the smallest unit matrix is the smallest unit of this potato mm. of this slice so now one gradient is applied slice selection gradient another gradient is applied fade and phase encoding gradient another is applied frequency encoding gradient okay understood yes so now you will see the next part later now one more important point in the same context i want to explain about this gradient and all if the patient suppose this is your mri front view i am explaining suppose you are watching from the front side patient is lying in and out you cannot see the patient table and all because you are seeing the front view okay what will happen this is the if you are watching from front side this is the x y plane x x axis this is the x axis from this is plus x this is minus x this is the x axis this is y axis upper one is y axis and z is out out of the the uh, magnet bore yes towards the patient yes. table z so you can also see like that this is y this is x and this is your mm. z x y and z so if the patient is lying inside I want to explain you something related to slices. See, I'm trying to explain which one is the best one. So, see, this is the patient. Now, the patient is lying here. This one I told you the Z. Z. This one was y. y. Now, you can't see X. Yes. X is like a shoulder, like right side shoulder, and the patient here is a shoulder. Mm. This side, one side will be uh, right side shoulder, and another side will be left side shoulder. That is called X axis. If the patient is lying like this, Okay, and you applied one gradient. Suppose there is a gradient coil here. One more coil is inside. It's a gradient coil. Okay, black one is a magnet. This black one was magnet, magnet and this red one was gradient coil. Red one was gradient coil. Okay, if the patient is lying, so one gradient applied. First, you suppose one gradient is applied, and the slice selection. We are breaking it into slices. Suppose I want to break in slices like this. Why the color is not coming blue color? So I'm breaking it sl in slices. Slice selection gradient. Okay. Mm. So in which direction it is going? Which direction I am doing the slicing? Can you see? Actually, like no. Can you see in this diagram in which direction I am going? General. Yeah. So if the patient is lying like that, okay, and uh, I have to do the stomach scanning. Suppose this is the stomach. Okay, so this is stomach. I have to make it into pieces. This is stomach. I am making into pieces, and I am making slices. So which axis I am doing the slice selection? Z axis, of course. So slice selection is in Z direction. So one slice. I will make one slice. This is this is a stomach type slice selection. So I can say that slice selection gradient Z axis. Now phase encoding. frequency encoding and frequency encoding so now this is your one slice yes one slice now in this slice again you have to do phase encoding frequency. and frequency encoding okay so the upper side if the if you see from here if you see from outside the y axis means this one if you see in the slice this one upper side if you see from here inside the mri room if you want to if you are watching from here inside the mri bore and one slice is here the phase encoding will be this one y axis slice selection gradient z axis phase encoding gradient y axis frequency encoding gradient will be x axis this one is your frequency encoding gradient 
this is your frequency encoding mm -hmm. gradient this one is your phase encoding gradient explain about this x y and z direction i will show you one image very good image i have okay like uh, this is your you can see the patient here if you see the patient from the console see from here okay you can see a variation here more field less field again different field so field is varying so this is your gradient okay in one direction and of course this is z direction yes if you will see this is z direction okay and uh, another direction i will show you i will show you another direction of field see this one mm. this one the patient is inside but here you can see here you can see different color some different color some different color some different color uh, here it is different color yes. of course this is x direction mm. if you are sitting here on the console side yes. there is this is x direction yes, yes, so yes, field yes. variation is here so here it is field variation okay and then i'll show you one more picture i have very good picture this one see in this diagram you can see where is the color variation color variation is here yeah. different color color drastically changing. changing so color variation of course in y direction, y direction. Yes. so like this your gradients in mri machine in mri normally in mri okay in the mri machine this is your mri anywhere 1.5 tesla will be there 1.5 tesla magnetic field will be there everywhere yes. everywhere in this machine yes. but field variation can take place in any any axis yes. x y and z yes. so two things one is homogeneous magnetic field okay first is magnetic field second important thing we need a field variation so you saw in the diagram that how we are varying the field okay how it looks like okay. see see the diagram here if you will see here you can see this is your gradient how the gradient uh, this is your see this is your magnet mm -hmm. this is your magnet okay mm -hmm. inside and this is a gradient coil x coil y coil and z coil you can see here mm -hmm. different different coils yes. okay this is the your uh, gradient coil here mm -hmm. z gradient coil x mm -hmm. gradient coil this is your y mm -hmm. gradient all are collectively this is separate separate in this diagram it is made separate mm -hmm. separate this coil is separate separate, separate and separate. separate if you see if i'll show you together see this one mm -hmm. this coil is a one diagram yes. all the coils are see this is your x coil yes. this is your x coil this is your y coil you can see this mm -hmm. is y coil okay. any variation will mm -hmm. be like this x is like this yes. okay and z is like this this green color is z yes. like patient this. is lying inside yes. so this will be the coil structure yes okay so now i will explain you more in next videos